Anything can be cinematic. It's really just how you look at it. It's not about talent or camera gear. It's all about how you look at life, how you look at life behind your lens. Now, not everything has to be cinematic, but what if there is a way to rewire your brain so that no matter where you go or what you shoot, anything is cinematic? Now, before we start this tutorial, what even is cinematic? Well, the official definition of cinematic is shots that have visual or aesthetic qualities of film or video. To me, cinematic just means shots that look like they're out of a movie. Now, I know some people in the comment section are going to be like, you don't even know what cinematic means. The word cinematic is so overused, bro. If you went to Hollywood, bro, they would laugh at you, bro. Cinematic is a dead word and stop using it. So let's just be honest with ourselves. We don't work on movie sets. If you're watching this video, you're probably an aspiring YouTuber or content creator. We don't have big sets, we don't have big budgets, and we don't have professional actors. We're usually just run and gun filmmakers slash one man bands that wanna make the highest quality videos possible with either natural light or the minimal amount of artificial light. In this tutorial, I'm not going to be going over the rule of thirds, composition, or videography basics. I'm going to assume you already know the basics and you just want to get your videos to look 10 times better. The techniques I'm going to share are going to help you rewire your brain so you can approach any shoot and get cinematic shots, so let's just get into it. The first tip is look for contrast and patterns in every frame. Instead of just shooting your subject normally, look for patterns in your image. Look for scenes where the dark shadows contrast with bright highlights. These contrasts not only add visual interest, but also help to create a sense of drama and mood in your shots. Number two, backlight everything. Backlighting is your cinematography secret weapon, capable of turning any ordinary scene into a visual spectacle. By positioning your light source behind your subject, you create a stunning halo effect that adds depth, drama, and atmosphere to your shots. One of the most significant advantages of backlighting is the way it separates your subject from the background, emphasizing their silhouette and adding some sense of dimensionality to your image. Also, it just looks super dope. Number three, shoot through as many objects as possible. When it comes to creating visually stimulating shots, sometimes the key lies in looking at your surroundings with a fresh perspective. One powerful rewiring technique is to shoot through as many objects as you can, using them to create natural frames and foreground elements that draw the viewer into the scene. When I'm filming a wedding, I really love shooting through windows. It adds depth and shapes to what would be a pretty flat image. Next time you arrive at a location, try to put at least one thing in the foreground. Heck, you can just put your camera on the ground and that will create an element of foreground. These foreground elements not only add visual interest, but it also creates a sense of depth so it doesn't just look like a two-dimensional frame. Number four, create movement. You can create movement within the frame and with the frame. Movement in the frame can be expressed through the actions of whatever you have in the frame. So you can have your subject moving, going left to right. They can be coming from far to near. Also, the environment can be moving in the frame. Consider elements such as flowing water, smoke, can add kinetic energy and visual interest to your shots. When I use a gimbal, I really like orbit shots, tracking shots, and push-ins. In order to rewire your brain for this to stick, you're gonna to have to practice this over and over again. And like I said, I'm not a cinematographer that works on movie sets, nor do I want to work on movie sets. I love being a solo creator and having the freedom to just do whatever I want. Remember, having cinematic shots does not make a great video. It's all about telling a compelling story using cinematography. Story is king. Well, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, go out and make something with passion. All right, peace.